When I tell y'all I'm a stay-at-home girlfriend, I don't have to pay no bills. Y'all be like, oh, sis, I can't wait till I have my man like that. Baby, my man is at work still. Yeah, he went to work at 8 o'clock this morning. It's 11 o'clock at night. This shit come with lonely ass fucking nights. Is this really what you want? Can you really handle that shit? <laughs> you gotta be one loyal, secure ass female to deal with this shit on a regular basis and the type of career that my man has. Sometimes I be going crazy. She's 100% right. A lot of women ask for this lifestyle, but I don't think that they really understand what it comes with. What it comes with is a lot of lonely nights. Uh, I know a lot of guys. I coach a lot of guys um, that is in corporate, that own their own businesses, that are athletes. And across the board, there's a similarity that comes along with it. And that's that they work a lot. They grind a lot. They're on the road a lot. They're in the office a lot. And I think that the the misconception is that all of these guys are sitting around. They got all of this passive income. They just frolicking on the beach. They spending all of their time hanging out with a chick or their chick or their kids and all of that. And that's not what it comes with. Even traditionally. Traditionally, men was out in the streets, they was working, it was traveling, it was going to get to back, get to back. Even the men that were not necessarily rich, right? I remember um, you know, I've read I've read stories and then I've I've even heard different stories about my grandfather that's on my father's on my father's side. Um and my dad and my dad and my uncle would tell me about how their father basically went up to Detroit from Dawson, Georgia uh, and obviously, in order to get a, get the job in the manufacturing facilities and, and the auto industry, which they did, obviously. Um, and then they was up there for a long period of time and they wound up calling for my grandmother on my father's side to come up there. Um, eventually, after they got settled, after they got a house, after they got established, after they got things set up to where they would then be able to call for the kids and the wife to come up and actually be with the man. And now, you know, we've gotten so coddled and we've gotten to a, a point in our lives to where Oh, the jobs is easy. You can work from home. All you got to do is work 40 hours or you can put in 40 hours and it doesn't even require you to really put in 40 hours. You're really only working 16 to 20 hours a week, but you available for 40 hours. And then people are so coddled to where they don't even think that they got to do any of that anymore. And then the women on the flip side is also working. And then, you know, it used to be to where the man was working and grinding and putting in overtime and hustling in order to be able to provide because, you know, the woman was then going to be there to make sure that she took care of the kids and she got them to school and she did all of the things. And so she covered everything in addition to maybe getting a part time job or doing some volunteer work at the church or, you know, all of these things that kept her busy. Um, you know, and even when they did housework, it wasn't the type of housework that the women was doing today, right? They actually had to uh, use the board to wash the clothes physically. It wasn't all of this machinery and dishwashers and timers and all of this stuff and extra freezers. You had to make a meal every single day. There almost needs to be uh, history classes that refer to specific period of time periods of time to help people to understand what a traditional family look for because what people want is traditionalism as far as how it suits their their convenient lifestyle but they don't really understand what it came with and it came with long days especially for a lot of women this video almost needs to go viral and so this is one of the first women um, I can't remember if she said her man her her boyfriend or her husband but regardless we understand what the point is that she's making and I'm gonna put a link obviously to her profile in the description but this video needs to go viral because i don't think that a lot of people understand what come along with these men that they want and all of the women are jockeying for the same men and i'm not even going to get into the fact that they wait on guys at the finish line that didn't get it out the mud with them but whole another conversation the point is is that do you really want this is this what you really want because you're praying for a lifestyle that you're not really built for you trying to get into something that you really don't understand yet and I'm telling you that even myself, you know, I am gone a lot. 
I mean, even before the pandemic and I'm starting to ramp up even more after the pandemic, I try to balance it out a lot more um, because, you know, with my daughter being 16 years old, just turned 16 years old, um, I think that there's different phases in their life where they really, really need to have and witness and see what a man in the household looks like, looks like at different phases in their life. And I've been fortunate enough to really be able to participate in their life throughout her life to where I could be the man that I would want her to marry and, you know, show her what it means and what it's like to actually deal with um, a woman and what a man is supposed to do when a man is supposed to be gone. He's supposed to be working. He's supposed to be hustling. And you can't be sitting there being insecure. You can't sit there and be wanting all of his time because he got a purpose. And that's why I say a guy, a real man understands that his purpose is not a woman. The, the woman is supposed to be up under the man. And then the woman is the help meet, which feeds into whatever his vision is. And so the vision that he has for y'all as a family or for y'all as a unit or whatever it is that y'all doing is largely based off of his purpose, which is ever evolving because he's going to be, um, you know, having a different purpose at different points in his life, which you are at 30 and 40 and 50 is all going to be different. And what you're trying to accomplish at those times are going to be different. And it doesn't mean that he can't listen to you or he can't take you into consideration but when she said, yo, he been gone since 8 o'clock this morning and it's 11 o'clock at night, that's some real shit right there. Like, that's real life. That's real life of being in a relationship with a man that is very high powered, a man that is busy. And so you you leverage the time that you can and you make the most of it. And the last thing, I mean, the absolute last things that he wants. Hear me out, ladies. If you've never heard me before, then pay attention. The last thing he wants. Is to sit here, come home to a dirty house, or you nagging, right? Or you talking about your problems. He wants the best of you. The last thing that he wants after being out there conquering the world is to get the worst of what you look like and you not making yourself presentable presentable for when he get into the crib or you giving your last of, of, of him when he's been really, you know, doing his thing and, and you do, you're going to be the beneficiary of his greatness and you're the one that's spending the money and you're the one that's you know, really, really taking advantage of the, the opportunities that he's created for the family and stuff like that. The last thing he won't is a chick that's that's not peaceful, that's, you know, just just the worst of what we got to deal with in our society and the attitude. And that's why you see a lot of guys, they walking away from what we, we, we what we've defined as a modern relationship, because if he got to deal with that, after what he's been through, which you don't really even know what he's been through, but you're not even considerate of it. If he got to come home to you, you can forget it, bro, because it's not worth it. It's not even worth it having you around. It's not worth it keeping you around. If if you are a nice to have, because let's be clear, a guy at that level, he don't really need you, but it's a nice to have. It's a help me, meaning that he's going to accomplish what he's going to accomplish anyway. So you can't build a man. You can't make a man. You can't multiply what it is that he got going on. The only thing that you can do is learn from him and then feed into or, or plug yourself into the slot that he got you in and move accordingly. Like even my chick, right? You know, she has the freedom to do whatever it is that she wanted to do. She could have gone to, went to school, whatever, whatever. She, she did all of that. And at the end of the day, she was like, listen. I need to carve out more time so that I can feed into the vision of what I'm putting together. And so the reason why you see her with me a lot is because she's up under me working, grinding, hustling. She left what she had behind to feed into what it is that I got going on, which also created space for her to um, be around me even more. She can travel with me more. She's she's a participant in what I got going on. And y'all got to figure out what y'all want to do. But then y'all relationships, as far as what the dynamic is, my chick said that I'm about to be up under me. And so that's how we roll. But it comes with a different lifestyle. It comes with a different mentality. And a lot of these women really don't know. They think that it's all shopping and then you get to take up all of his time. And then he's supposed to um, put what he got on the back burner in order to feed your ego and to feed you. And it's all about you, 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 you. No, it's all about him, 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 him. And then you become the beneficiary of his greatness. But... Again, I'm open to the possibility that I'm wrong. I know I'm not wrong. I will usually say, but I doubt it. But no, I know it this time. But I'm curious as to what y'all think inside of the comments. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. As well as pin to the top of the chat. Teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. 
Um, I'm curious as to what y'all 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 got going on in the comments. I think I'm gonna release this one really late at night and let it slow burn because I want this to burn through your spirit and I want y'all to y'all to discover this one versus this one. Uh, you know, just regularly coming out at the time that it would normally come out in the algorithm. Anyways, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Just my, my intrusive thoughts taking over. Um, I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.